I got asked this question the other day, and it's fairly loaded. The toughest thing about being a writer is writing. That's it. No surprising advice or anecdotes. It's sitting at that desk daily, grabbing your pen or facing your keyboard, and getting the words down and out. We have different ways of expressing ourselves. I prefer to handwrite as I feel the words simply flow better. I don't have a word count or aim, I just write. I put some background music on, block out any external noise and sit at my desk. I also prefer to write in near darkness. Don't ask why. You could be in total isolation, sometimes for days or even weeks, as a writer. I've never done months alone at a time, as that is simply dangerous. I need to socialise once in a while and be around others to gain inspiration and reset my brain. Writers who spend time in total isolation tend to go a bit mad, I think. I'm sure history has examples. And also, if you look at prisons, isolation is a punishment. It's certainly not a reward. After a prolonged silence, friends and family begin to worry, imagining me to be dead. I'd rather they didn't think me dead, so I pop my head out and act like a normal person for a while. One fact I will reiterate is writing is solitary and offers no guarantees from the very beginning. There are no guarantees of success or a column in a national newspaper or fame. Why do so many take the risk of being a writer then, if there is so much uncertainty? If it's going to be a struggle to get your work in front of the right audience or make a living, then why do it? My theory is people who write do so not because they want to, but because they have to. They need to. Writing is not just about storytelling, poetry or words. It's a way of life, it's therapeutic, and for many of us, keeps the voices in our heads quiet. I've been writing for as long as I can remember. My earliest memory is age eight. How do I know this? I used to date all my work on the top right corner. For many of us, with busy brains, our heads are constantly churning with ideas and people and scenarios. We simply need somewhere to put these ideas down. The best place is normally a sheet of paper or journal. And gradually, as we build these worlds, stories begin to form. So, is being a writer worth it? I'd say a thousand times yes. However, I'll leave you with this caveat. There are different levels of success, and not all writers are equal. Writing is the best escape from our world. However, you have to be willing to write for the sake of writing, without expecting any reward. That, I believe, is the most difficult part for some people.